Well, um, we're going to learn a waltz that I wrote for a friend of mine named Diane. Uh, so I actually wrote this for her before she even got engaged and then I ended up playing it at her wedding. And when I recorded this, I recorded it on my album Dot the Dragon's Eyes and I um, recorded it with a trumpet coming in at the end um, and it was kind of a little bit, um, had a little bit of meaning behind it because she married a guy who plays the trumpet. So the A part is pretty straightforward. It's in the key of G. It's a waltz. And the phrase, the opening phrase sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then it goes to the A. And you have a kind of syncopated rhythm. So listen to this rhythm. Let's work these notes out first before throwing in the syncopation. So it's open A, down to third finger, then up to C second finger and then down to the first finger again. So those are the four notes. The rhythm though is going to go da 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 like this. That's the rhythm and then out of this B you fall down the scale. So let's take a look at Diane's waltz and um, we'll see what we can add to the tune to make it sound a little bit more lyrical and expressive. Right at the beginning, you can do a flick on this B and maybe even a hammer on. I, I like to call it sometimes the hammer flick. And all of these grace notes, when you're playing them in a slow tune, you want to just be a little bit more gentle. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the fast tunes talking about how to play the grace notes in a really percussive, kind of wild way. Now we're doing the opposite. We're going to kind of ease into the, to the grace notes. And swell a lot. Use, use a little bit of vibrato. Now a waterfall here. So I did a waterfall. And then when I got here, I went up, up. But I actually didn't just play an up bow. I played a hammer on into that C. Like that. And then another waterfall. 